everybody, welcome back to another JK discussion. I'm Jammer. And I'm Kirla. And it was just announced that tomorrow is a Nintendo Direct. In one of our earlier discussions, we actually predicted that a Direct would be coming around soon. And in our previous Zelda Wii U discussion, we actually touched on a couple of things that might be in Nintendo's future for 2015. But now we're actually going to see some new information. Hopefully see some awesome trailers, some new gameplay, maybe even an announcement for a new game. So overall, Kirla, what are some of your first predictions for this Direct tomorrow? So, some of my first predictions would be, obviously, the Star Fox game that we had touch base on. Mm -hmm. They'll probably talk a little bit more about that. Yeah, especially uh, yeah, with the announcement that Zelda's delayed. Yep. And we're assuming that it's that's going to be the next Holiday Hill. They're going to have to just have summer memories. But so far, all we've seen was just Miyamoto flying around at E3, like, a after-show, side-show thing. Other than that, we know nothing. So this is their opportunity to at least show something precursor to E3. In order to build up that hype that we mm -hmm. talked about in our one video as well. Uh, another thing that would actually be very interesting to hear for a prediction, not mm -hmm. so much with a new game, yeah. but maybe they'll be talking about their mobile games mm -hmm. and working with Dina or yeah. DNA a little bit more. Yeah, because they did say that their first mobile game will come out within the end of the year. So maybe we actually will see some sort of maybe test project or something along the lines just with their what they might be working with with their first mobile. A nice little sample to give the new mm -hmm. players, I guess, yeah. a taste of what they can do. So, the lineups overall for 2015 is Splatoon coming out at the end of May. We have Yoshi's Boiler World with an undetermined release date, which we're assuming is probably going to come out at the end of the summer, around Hyrule Warriors slot from this past year. And then we also have uh, Star Fox coming out, which we're thinking is going to be Holiday. And then there's also Mario Maker, which... That might be, I'm not sure where you, that's going to be. That might be at the beginning of the summer. That That's just like one of those weird games that's like, it might not even be a full retail game. It might be one of the discount titles, the $40. Where do you think that one's going to land? Uh, that'd be an interesting one. I could see it landing around the $40 mark. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe they'd bump it down to 35 or yeah. wherever where do, they put it Do you think it'll be in the, the summer? When do you think it's going to like release? Or, uh, or do you think we'll even see it in this direct? It'd be interesting. I mean, they might touch a little bit on it in the direct, but I don't feel like it's going to be their number one priority. Yeah. Uh, Mario, as we all know, Nintendo loves it a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't remember where it was, but I did actually see a prediction about a possible new Paper Mario as well. Yes, there was that leak, or supposed leak, about yep. the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door 3D, which, don't get me wrong, I would seriously go nuts for that game. That is honestly my favorite game of all time. I will go on record saying it. And if they made a 3D version, I would for sure just run up the store, hand them my money, I'd be so happy. But as far as Mario Maker goes, ever since E3 and it's announced we, in each uh, Nintendo Direct, we've seen just a little bit of clip bits of some maybe new uh, tools and stuff like that that they've already incorporated in the game. So maybe in this Direct we'll also see some more maybe skins for items or little level designs. Maybe they'll show that you can make underwater levels or something. Because like so far they have been showing each and little bits of uh, information about the game, and I know a lot of people are actually really excited about it. So I think it will definitely see appearance. We'll see maybe like a m two minute or so little montage of just some of the new features that I haven't announced yet. So let's talk about Splatoon, the game that's supposed to come up a little bit sooner. Yeah, at the end of May. At the end of May, uh, yeah, yeah. So. That game, I think it's really interesting because they're using paint in a new way. Mm -hmm. You know, you roll around, paint, you want to cover the map as much yeah. as possible. And you got all those sweet moves that, you know, he'll Swim squid around. it, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I definitely think that the Nintendo Direct is going to be primarily featuring that game since the release date is so close. And they were really amped about it when they really announced it at mm -hmm. E3. Since then, we've had a little information here that we had the, the solo campaign information come out in the fall. And then just recently, I've, I believe a couple of like review companies and channels have like gotten some first-hand gameplay and like have learned about a couple of new multiplayer games and like how some of the customizable outfits work and stuff. But since I feel like like last year, just before Mario Kart 8's release, they had a like huge segment about Mario Kart 8 with like showing off the last like new characters, new items. And I mean, just even with those new characters and items, it'll be interesting to see if maybe they'll. Mm -hmm. Play a bigger part in the single player campaign. Yeah. You know, unlocking kind of like a new paintbrush, new roller. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll actually see how the paintbrush works. So far, we've seen mm -hmm. gameplay of the little like 42 caliber rifle, or as they call in the game, the 42 gal, as a gal in a paint. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's, you know, the paint roller, we've seen that a couple times. We've seen the mm -hmm. sniper, like the rocket launcher, but the actual paintbrush, we've seen like many images of it. 
never seen how it's played. Never so it'd be really awesome to see how that works, and then maybe even show off some brand new weapons we haven't even seen yet. You know, like, I don't even know what else you could do. Like, like dual wield rollers. Or, yeah, or maybe like, yeah, something like dual something wield, just like insane. a pistol, a pea shooter. A little pea shooter, a little paintball gun. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe like some sort of like... Uh, grenade launcher or something like oh, that because I know yeah. there's grenades but maybe a grenade launcher gun mm -hmm. or maybe like a crossbow where oh, like yeah, it yeah. shoots it and then like maybe it, like sticks for a second then explodes mm -hmm. or I don't know there's so many possibilities they could really do or something. Yeah. yeah exactly so along with the games that we've talked mm -hmm. about what about Yoshi's Woolly World? What do you think about that one? Yeah, that one's a weird one. Because I mean, been at 2E3 so far. First time being more of like a 2D thin, like more remnants of Kirby Lepic Yarn. And then last year's E3 with the more 3D yarn, like... And of course we had that stage in Smash Bros. So honestly, it almost seems like they thought the game was going to be out before Smash. But then it ended up not happening. And then since then, we really still haven't heard anything. I honestly thought the last Direct we had, we at least hear something. So, like, it's really weird that we haven't heard anything yet, and it's just, like, it's just been gameplay trailers and nothing about it ever coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it'll be interesting to see what they announce with mm -hmm. it. Uh, the campaign. Yeah. I'd love to see how that plays out, especially for it. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, Kirby's Epic Yarn. That was a great game. Great game. And Woolly World, if it kind of follows a little bit in that, I feel like it'd be a phenomenal yeah, game. Yeah, 2D platform, Collectathon with... You know, but now with like more of like a Yoshi story paint yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, hopefully it's not just gonna be a paint job. I would hate to see that. It's Yoshi. Mm -hmm. They usually do a great job throwing in this and that, making mm -hmm. it a little more, bit more. Yoshi's iconic got uh, enemies. Yep. Bringing in like the sh all the different types of shy guys. I love the shy fly guys. Fly guys, para guys. You know, cool guys, not so cool guys. <laughs> yeah. That so guy. definitely, I would really, I really hope to see this at the direct. But if we don't, honestly, I wouldn't be that surprised. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could see them finally maybe announce, like, bringing more information at E3 and just skipping it entirely because I'm honestly seeing at this point it's going to come out maybe the end of this, this summer. So, like, it would make sense if they didn't talk about it in this direct just because it, it's still a little ways away as far as I think. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it would still be nice to see something, you know? It definitely would be really nice to see something just because, mm -hmm. like we've stated, it's been hinted at so many times, yeah. but it's never been kind of developed for us or to told actually us, yeah, see. When are we gonna, no concrete release, There's nothing, yeah. nothing to it right now. Yeah. It's just, hey, look at this. This is what we got. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Yeah, so we've talked a lot about the Wii U and like what its lifespan is going to be in its games, but we haven't touched on anything of the 3DS. Everything they announced last year that would be coming out for this year has already came out. We had Majora's Mask, uh, codenamed Steam, the Monster Hunter, the new Monster Hunter 4. But yeah, other than that, they really haven't told us anything else that was supposed to come out. So at this point, if they're going to say anything else for the 3DS, it's going to be something new. It, yeah, definitely. It'll have to be something new to keep the interest of the players mm -hmm. and just really to keep everyone engaged with yeah. it, especially since they just released the new system itself. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Then we added Xenoblade 3D. That's yep. just about to come out, like, next week or something like that. Yeah, very, very close so to coming I, out. So, yeah, my prediction is they're going to show off some new games for the new 3DS. Mm -hmm. Like, some more exclusive ties, which I don't really like that they're doing exclusives for the new 3DS, but in order to push that hardware, they, that's what they kind of need to do at this point. Mm -hmm. So... It, I think that's what they're going to do. They're going to show some new 3DS games that will be exclusive to that. Maybe show off a couple just that will be on both. But I think that's what they really need to do because the sales push for the new 3DS was it was decent enough, but it was it was kind of lacking for being a new hardware, you know? Well, yeah, even with that, though, when we were talking about our Zelda mm -hmm. uh, just, yeah. discussions, we were talking about possibly them releasing a new, like, mobile Zelda game for yeah, the Yeah, a new DS. handheld, yeah. And it'd be interesting, especially with the C-Stick that they've got implemented on mm -hmm. it, to see how that could play out. And I feel like that would be a good move for them, even for a yeah. holiday release. Yeah, that would be really cool to see that. I'm not sure if we'll see that tomorrow. That much more E3 coverage, you know. That that's... would be for but the But I mean, road, it would yeah. be, I, it, I still think they're going to show something new for the mm -hmm. 3DS. So what do you think about maybe Metroid making a return? I mean, it's been a long time, even for 2D and 3D. Ooh. What if we maybe see it in this direct? Metroid, that'd be a fun one. I have a lot of fond memories of us playing Metroid when we were younger. Uh -huh. And it'd be really interesting just to see what they do with that. There was like a tidbit a little while back that they were planning on make releasing a another 3D and another 2D platforming Metroid. So do you maybe think we could see one or the other or even both at this direct? Or maybe that's more E3 coverage. 
I feel like maybe they'll announce one of them at the Direct, mm -hmm. and then maybe at E3 they would announce the Probably the one. Wii U big one, I, yeah. At, yeah, at the E3, and then maybe you see a 2D one for... That would be awesome to see Metroid come back in the spotlight again. Mm -hmm. Some use for her amiibo besides freaking Mario for Kart sure. or something. Or for your one rupee on uh, uh, one ru hey, My one rupee in <laughs> Hyrule Warriors. That's another thing too. I would like to see more amiibo support. They're doing okay so far with their new games, trying to incorporate more amiibo support. But I mean, like, we need more use for these things. So far, we got Smash, we got Mario Kart, and like, the functions are meh so far. And we have Mario Party 10 have an exclusive mode all locked away behind Amiibo, which wasn't really executed correctly. So they are trying, but I, I, I want to see them do more. I can definitely agree with that. I mean, even with the ones that they just have, mm -hmm. like Pikachu, for example, if they implemented that into a Pokemon game, yeah. I think that'd be sweet. You know, unlock a mm -hmm. unique move that you can only get through the Amiibo. Because exactly, or... so far, Pikachu is Smash Bro. That's the only one it's like like actually meaningful for, because you get Pikachu in the game. The rest is just like the random yeah. Hyrule Warriors weapon, or, you know, yeah, so... Mm. So just with those characters, it's like, I want to see them develop their amiibo more mm -hmm. through the games because I want to see Donkey Kong like do something amazing when I use Besides his amiibo. just being a amiibo fighter in Smash. Yeah, I mean, I want to see Luigi, you know, do something epic in one of yeah. his games when yeah. I tap the amiibo on my console yeah, or whatever. Yeah, just a little bit more like oh a little oomph to spice things up. Exactly. A human. But as far as Pikachu amiibo, maybe we could hear about Pokémon Tournament. That's supposed to be an exclusive for an arcade in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. It's the to uh, Tekken-style Pokemon fighting game. Maybe we could even hear about that getting ported to the Wii U, and then Pikachu actually being used for amiibo support there, alongside maybe another wave of action, just Pokemon amiibo. Well, I mean, if they're focusing on Smash Bros, you do have Greninja, mm -hmm. you got Charizard, you got some of your classic guys, Mewtwo down it's the road. Coming, and sure. that's another thing I think is going to be in this direct. Because today's the last day to register games on Club Nintendo, oh, and they said, <laughs> and they said at, on the little flyer from YouTube, it says last day to register is three thirty-one. So that's meaning that sooner or later we're gonna start seeing Mewtwo start showing up. So I think that's another thing we're gonna maybe finally see some gameplay of it, or at least hear word when it's gonna like release. Mm -hmm. Even along that though, with their Club Nintendo point system being turned down or yeah. turned off tonight. Maybe we'll hear something about their new, their new like, reward system. Um, I don't know. Maybe, but I, I still feel like that might be E3 news. Because, like, it would be nice to get one right away, right afterwards, but it, it almost feels like... I feel like there's going to be a lull period where there's going to be no re loyalty reward or anything. Because, I mean, Majora's Mask and Kirby, Rainbow Curse, like, they didn't come with any registration code. So even for a new type of loyalty mm. thing. So, like, those games... You know, it would have no low, but it would be smart to have it by the time Splatoon comes out. So at the exactly. same time, maybe that would be smart. Yeah, I mean, I could, if anything, I could see them saying, "Hey, this is kind of like a outline mm -hmm. of what we're going for." Yeah. So that way, they can at least get feedback yeah. from. People. I mean, now that I think about it, the day after Club Nintendo shuts down, them announcing what next? I mean, maybe that actually is kind of smart to announce mm -hmm. just the day after, so fans know, "Hey, this is it. This is what we're doing. Yeah. Welcome I back." Mean, it'd be it'd be great because. Mm -hmm. You definitely get that point of like, oh, what do I yeah. do now? Yeah. And this will be that revitalization. This mm -hmm. will be the fairy that you found out you had in your pocket the whole time. <laughs> yeah. And, and then is another thing that's supposed to be coming out this spring alongside Mewtwo is the Mario Kart 8 DLC. I mean, once up, within the coming weeks of the first pack coming out, we slowly got like a gameplay or a track uh, gameplay clip of like one one lap here, one lap there, just like some of the in-game Mario Kart TV footage. And like, I think that's about time to start seeing that now because the pack should be coming out any time now. Yeah, the pack definitely should be coming out soon, which is always fun and mm -hmm. exciting for our players. And it will be interesting to see what they do with that. I mean, if they announce it tomorrow, yeah. it'll be, I think, amazing because yeah. it's not, it's at that time where it should be announced. Yeah, it's spring. It's, it's spring. spring. Yeah. It is here. Yeah. Let's see something. Like, even if they don't give an actual release date when mm -hmm. it's going to come out, maybe just one track clip. I, I can definitely teaser. see that. Maybe even a teaser. I can definitely see, uh, like, Animal, or Villager and Isabel riding along in maybe just the Animal Crossing course. Mm -hmm. And then another thing, speaking of Animal Crossing, what about Animal Crossing Wii U? Animal Crossing Wii U. Big step from little village to big I mean, to big so far, yeah, so far, that's how the patterns went. Went console mm -hmm. handle, console handle. And granted, the con or handhelds have always been more 
Uh, they've been more effective in my eyes. Yeah, and they've, their sales numbers have been better. Always. But have. I mean, it's just how the pattern's gone. They already have all the characters modeled for the 3DS, mm -hmm. or for the Wii U engine, because of that one uh, eShop app, yep. the Animal Crossing message board, or something like that. And I mean, they have the Villager Amiibo, granted, if you have it, don't open it. <laughs> Do not open but, that like, Amiibo. But like, I mean, using those IP characters as Amiibo, those is, I would so buy Tom Nook. And Tor Timer and oh. the Able Sisters and Tor Timer and Goldie. I would take <laughs> advantage of Tor Timer. You know, I would use my employee <laughs> skills. You know, what I mean, like I, that's an awesome franchise that definitely should mm -hmm. deserve media support, and it would work awesome on the Wii U. But so I don't know if it's gonna be in this direct. Even I feel like it's more. This is another thing that's gonna be <laughs> more E3, but it would still be awesome to see it. It would be amazing to see, it. even if for their amiibos, you tapped it and. Even if it's just a trophy of Tor Timer, <laughs> I'd be stoked. Yeah. Just to have like a little Tor Timer in yeah. my house by the John or something, yeah, you know? Yeah, that's great. And then a final thing I want to touch on about Amiibos is maybe we'll see another wave of Smash Bros. Amiibos. I mean, or at least an announced release date for Wave 4. Because yeah, they definitely. did announce that at the beginning of the year and we haven't heard anything since. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll hear something when those will drop and then maybe a hint at some new Amiibo for Smash. I don't know. It might be too soon, but mm -hmm. we'll see. It'll be interesting to see later down the road, for yeah. sure. All I know is I'm excited for this Nintendo Direct. Too bad we will both be at work when it drops, but we will make a discussion as soon as we can. Mm -hmm. So is there any final thoughts you want to wrap this up with? Uh, final thoughts. Nintendo's got a lot that is being weighed down on them. They need to get their information out there. Mm -hmm. If they do plan on releasing Star Fox in December, then they really need to try to build up that hype right now. Yeah. Better late than never. I mean, with the bombshell of a dropping that mm -hmm. Zelda's not coming out, they need something to bring back their, I guess, investors and customers to say, it, Nintendo, we're not done for the 2015. We still mm -hmm. have stuff. Zelda's not our only game coming out, you know? Which is definitely one of the biggest things that a lot of the game companies have trouble with because it's been that awkward year where we've hit that somewhat of a pause button due to our new releases of consoles mm -hmm. and just even with new releases of titles and yeah. ideas. So yeah, that definitely this is just a good marketing strategy for Nintendo mm -hmm. to be releasing this right after Clementino finishes, kind of overview what's going to be coming for the spring and the end of the year, just hearing about Zelda being delayed. It's just a good marketing strategy for them to just... And that, start showing us new stuff and getting us, you know, more just more invested in them again. Mm -hmm. They need their people to become more involved. We need focus. We need our pace to go, but we need everything. <laughs> so if you like this video, be sure to like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Links in the description below. As always, give this video a like and a comment. We'd love to hear your input. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye.